very good morning to all of you my name is ruby and uh, today i am going to teach you how to import the schematic in uh, allegro board file okay this uh, in my last video i have drawn this schematic and i have uploaded that video so today i am going to import this into board file okay so let's start see this is uh, what we are seeing here the j1 t1 d1 d2 this we called it as a symbol okay so we need footprint for this to import it in the board layout okay so first uh, what we'll see this uh, here you can see the part number is there d1 uh, 1 and 4007 and for uh, footprint same footprint you need to use it for the di diodes and for transformer here see part number is not there for this one but you will get part number from the client client will give you part number and according to that you have to create footprint and imp and assign to this footprint into the schematic okay i will show you how to assign and all and uh, i'll show you if you uh, how you can uh, create footprint this is part number just copy it go to google paste it search for da uh, data sheet you will get data sheet from here Uh, or DG key, DG key is a website from there also you can get so this is DO41 package is there this is through whole component I am not going to create this I have already in my library so I am going to use that one if you don't have you have if it is already there with your library you uh, don't no need to create that if it is not there you have to create all the footprints okay then you need to assign in this schematic and then you have to create netlist and import it okay so i have already and i will show you see this is uh, i have my uh, uh, library so uh, uh, first i will show you how to uh, this is the folder which i have created ac to dc converter you can create one folder and you just make five new folders in that input library output board file and schematic in schematic folder you have to save schematic input what client will give you that you have to save in input folder library is there library you have to create library and you need to match that library go to file so a, a file one second A setup user preference here path will be there okay so this is pad path there you need to assign library this you close open this one and where is your library you have to assign here this is library folder in d drive ac to dc converter library select this give ok like this this you delete this is very important otherwise you cannot import uh, one second choose ok and then apply ok now see i have uh, uh, do 41 i have already this in my lab previous library so i will use this in my new project that is ac to dc converter so how you will save go to file save as where is your folder ac to dc converter library save it okay and uh, you need to export this pad also file export libraries sorry file export libraries you need to select folder where you want to uh, export so the here uh, d drive ac to dc already chosen here so we will export here second library 
choose export okay close I'm not going to edit this video uh, like how I am doing I am I will try to explain this now next what it is uh, this d1 d2 this one okay and this is t uh, like this also uh, uh, see this is regulated to 220 I am going to use this I have already saved in my library this capacitor through hole capacitor you need to take for this C1 capacitor and this two connectors and transformer so now I have uh, taken transformer I have already saved this is main library you can see what and all it is a TO220 like this regulator and DO41 and transformer I have said saved now what I need I need capacitor I am taking this randomly okay I am not uh, using part number and creating exactly but you need to create that capacitor this one I am taking this much big capacitor I am taking okay this is through hole file save as AC to DC converter library save this is 1000 microfarad 30, 350 volt uh, capacitor it is okay file export libraries choose export close it now connector you need connector connector okay I'll go the same here need right terminal block we will take terminal tb2 open yes file save as save file export libraries choose export close so I have taken this capacitor this this is so all I have taken here okay now you need to assign this one first I will assign this capacitor control C same footprint you need to assign this capacitor go to edit properties here is pit PCB footprint control V ok control S you save it now this 4 diode you need to assign so what you will do select go here for diode I have taken DO41 copy this go here select at a time go to edit properties I'm showing you one by one save it close now for transformer I have taken this one control C select this this footprint I am taking roughly I am telling you don't do same thing you just check part number create ok next is TO220 package control C select this to go to edit properties close it now for connector terminal block TB 
control C select J1 J2 go to edit properties control V ok now you save it select this save now you need to create netlist so select here this one ok and this is create netlist so you need to create netlist here ok so where is your schematic D drive AC to DC converter schematic select folder ok so your netlist is created ok now file new board file browse go to PCB name this board AC AC to DC converter open ok ok now make one roughly board outline add line go here board geometry outline make it 90 give 90 sorry line width you give ok first you set up design parameters it is in mills ok so ok make it in mills only give ok design parameters ok board outline visibility find ok now option here you have to make 6 line width you make 6 or 10 you make 10 ok so ix space 100 enter use this subclass outline ok 100 millis suppose you are using uh, board is uh, 100,000 ix space uh, 500 enter 500 mils I am taking ok iy space 500 enter again ix space minus 500 iy sorry iy space minus 500 so this is how uh, I have taken board outline this is in mills ok now board outline also client will give that you no need to worry about that or dxf they will give set up user preference to pad path here already I have saved now psm path already saved apply ok now file import logic ok import directory go to schematic choose import ok here you have to select design entry cis import file not found packager file not found ok two errors error file not found packager files not found ok second import directory select schematic so here I have deleted this pin number actually this is not uh, the way we should not do uh, in PCB design uh, but uh, 
as per allegro what happens you know if a pin number should be matched suppose here it is four pin then in footprint also it should be four pin but in cat star it uh, and this issue will not be there so one uh, so i have deleted these pin numbers like here i have made one two three four and this is now it is now mechanical pin but uh, you have to use as per the uh, footprint as per the data sheet as per the bum this i am taking simply that's why i have made like this okay so now i am going to import this one this one again will it create netlist okay come here file import logic choose import now it is completed successfully okay so after that what you will do place quick place see here board layer where you want to place top or bottom so place as a top okay One second, one symbol is not placed. Go to setup, design parameters. This change it zero. Apply. Okay. Place. Quick place. okay see now i have imported this one okay so this is uh, uh, how this is how you can uh, generate uh, create uh, schematic till now what i in uh, these two videos i have taught you how to create schematic and how to uh, assign footprint create netlist assign footprint and import it in allegro so hope this video will be helpful for you all in my next video i am going to make uh, constraint settings and all the settings here in allegro how to do and uh, after that placement and routing so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much